So if okay. we first come to the payment method, what is the payment method? Uh, if you, any of you can give me a general idea, what you think of the payment method? Uh, payment method is something, you know, uh, what kind of way, uh, you know, uh, what in, in which, which kind of method that you are depositing the salary for the employee. Maybe exactly. DD, exactly. Or electronic transfer yeah. or it may be in person, you know, hand, I mean, say, giving the cash, hard cash. Exactly, that is the payment method, you know, uh, the medium by which we are going to pay our employees in, in the organization, okay. Uh, we have to define that payment method, okay, in the system, okay. It can be check, cash, you know, um, uh, if there are organizations like, uh, um, you know, service centers where uh, uh, the person works on daily wages, so they used to collect cash okay or um, uh, there are third party vendors in uh, organization have most of the organization they used to have the check or there will be the direct deposit you know uh, just like uh, uh, we got the salary in our accounts okay so that is the direct deposit now for that direct deposit for USA we have uh, this process name NACHA that is National Automatic Clearing house association okay that is a uh, uh, this uh, particular term has been defined for the US localization okay and for the UK that is BACS that is bank automated clearing system okay so if we put the NACHA it will be the US uh, localization and if we are putting up the BACS that will be the UK localization so it, it these are two standard uh, terms provided by Oracle for these two particular localization. Okay. Now, or for if, if it is for another um, um, localization as in the India or Pakistan or Dubai or any other, we just name it direct deposit. Okay. And then there are cash where we, uh, you know, pay the employees by cash. So, also in the payment method window, we define our bank account okay source bank account okay as in the account of the organization okay from where the cash uh, uh, sorry from the uh, the account from where the check and direct deposit payment method get the money okay uh, if your organization is paying you then the source will be your organization bank account okay so for defining any of the payroll uh, we need to have this one of the combination from any of these okay if I just go to the application screen okay now for all of the setup for payroll we just have to go to the human resource responsibility then payroll then there are description consultation now we are defining the payment method so here is the payment method you can give a name of our payment method it can be any name Okay, uh, let's say accept test method. Okay, here we put on the payment type. Okay, now this is a vision corporation, a vision instance. So it is here coming as list of all of the uh, you know options of from all of the countries. Okay, so it can be of that auto pay direct deposit AD that is for United Arab Emirates UAE okay so it can be of any anything like check cash credit transfer demand draft for India okay so it totally depends upon which for which country you are um, handling it okay if it is for de demand draft we are having in India it might be possible that for New Zealand or for China demand draft won't work okay so we have to select the According to the country, we have to select the payment method. Okay. Let's say it is if and one more thing. If it is a direct deposit, we have to have mentioned the source bank detail. If it will be checked, it is not mandatory to mention this bank detail, source bank detail, but it is if it is direct deposit or check or anything which from where the company's account is related, we have to mention the bank detail. Okay. So if I'm putting up the direct deposit, if I'm doing uh, putting up the check, 
So we have to put the source bank account. Number. But if I will put the cash, you see I am putting the, the cash. Okay. I don't have to, you know, put the bank details. It is not mandatory there. But if I put, uh, let's say, if I put, um, it was check. Okay. Now, if I won't put this bank detail here, you know, how the bank will be able to issue the check to the employee? Okay. Or if I mention the direct deposit, how at the end of the month? Okay, uh, how the bank will uh, uh, able to release the salary of the employee to their accounts. Okay, so in that case, we need to define the source bank details. Okay, now this is bank uh, detail is also a PFF. Okay, uh, as we all know, the bank account is made up of different segments. Not even in Oracle apps, in real time scenarios, bank account is made up of different uh, different different segments. As in uh, some some for IFSC code in India for IFSC code and account number uh, there will be a location code. So always bank account is made up of the segment. So initially we create a, a bank detail KFF also. We put on the segment whatever are applicable for our organization. Okay, and then we put the details over here. So uh, let's say we just put a random bank account number okay here is the account type okay it can be current or saving okay so let's say I'm putting up the save now this is this source is of the organization account number so I just want to make it clear if this source bank is the bank detail of your organization okay from where the salary grid get credited to our account okay now here we have to put the bank name these are coming for India. So let's say I'm just putting up any of them and the branch name. Okay, I'll save it. Okay. Now, here is the costing tab. Okay. Generally, what happens when we um, enter any of the payment related details? Okay. Uh, in the application, we generally what to do? We have if it is of cost. If I want to have the costing information of this payment, first I'll check this cost payment, okay, okay, and then the transfer to GL, okay. Also, if I want to exclude in the manual payments, I'll check this box, okay. Cost cleared payment. It means when our payment get cleared from the bank. If I want that data in the costing, I will check this one, okay. Or if I want the cleared voided payment, then I will check this box only, okay. So it totally depends what type of costing our organization wants. Now, costing we'll learn in uh, our uh, next session, okay. The detail, what is costing, why we are using costing. So this is just a general idea. We use the costing to capture all the transactional details, okay. So. Uh, let's say right now I'm just doing the cost payment and transfer to GL. Okay, it will be correction mode. Okay. I just save it. Okay. If it will be transferred to GL, okay, any of the money related transaction which happens in the application, not only in HRMS, in payroll or in any other module, it has to transfer to the general ledger. Okay, and it also have a segment related data. Okay, so this is not mandatory here. If we do the costing, then only we select a ledger. Okay, this is a part which is connected with the finance. Okay, so generally what happens? We don't have to be in the depth. We just get to know what what is the general ledger which is working in this organization. Okay, which is functional within our organization. So we just put on the name of that general ledger. Okay, that's it. Let's say. Let's just put any. So, if you will do a payroll setup, you will get this general ledger name, okay, either from the business or from the finance person. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, if I have to put the journalist name, we have to put down the name. Now, these are the exactly segments which will work same as the costing segment, okay? Because the costing segment links with the journalist segment. If it will not get mapped, then we are not be able to transfer our costing to the journal agent. I know it's a bit confusing right here because we haven't learned the costing. So just make it a um, general idea that we are just putting up the journal agent information. The same as we put the costing information in the um, account. Okay, and there is a mapping of costing and journal agent, which we will learn it further. I'm just putting up the information here. Put the random information because we don't know the exact segment name. This is of accounting flex field. So general ledger contains the accounting flex field just as in payroll we have cost allocation flex field. Okay. There we are. Error account also. Sunaina, you can put department as 00, zero. all three zeros. Yeah, actually, yeah, that value is not coming here, 000. zero, zero. That's why. No, for coming. department, not for account. You are searching in account. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Clear this. Still you are in. What to do? Just clear the accounting field and click on department. Uh, no, I just, I just get that. Okay. Now you can enter the value. Yes, account. Okay. Let's just save it. Okay. So this is just a, um, uh, you know, we don't have uh, the real time data here. Otherwise, the, the we will put the information here, which will be mapped with the costing information. Okay. So uh, later on, we will learn that our all the segments from costing, as in the department from costing, will be linked with the department of journal ledger. Okay. Whatever accounts, whatever the segments are here. Uh, department of location linked with the depart, uh, department of costing or location of costing linked with the location of the journal ledger. So this is how both are the mapped and this is how we save the data into the journal ledger as well. You know the last and final stage of the payroll is transfer to the GL when we transfer the uh, our transactional data or costing data to the journal ledger. 